In this episode of King's Quest 3, to air is human, walk through. Alexander uses spells to escape the pirate ship. This and much more. Stay tuned. This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type http colon forward slash forward slash f e a t u dot r e forward slash v g o. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. Earn free bitcoins with feature points. Hey gamers, welcome back to King's Quest 3 to Paris Walkthrough. I'm your host Jeremy, gaming Let's, uh, let's Play Walkthrough channel, where I play uh, classic video games of yesterday and today. So we're going to continue our adventure with King's Quest 3 to Paris Human. Uh, walk through. I hope you've been watching all the videos so far because the, the story is almost over. The adventure is almost complete. We're nearing the end. Uh, my hero, Hawks, uh, hero uh, Gwydion, uh, aka Alexander, has uh, uh, retrieved the treasure and is back on the pirate ship. Now, his mission is to escape the pirate ship and to continue on his mission to save his family, the royal, the royal bloodline. So let's continue on. Our adventure. Following a little walkthrough, we're just going to uh, escape the pirate ship and take a little break after that. We're nearing the end of the adventure, so it, should, it shouldn't be a very long video today. We're just going to escape the pirate ship. So let's continue our adventure, Cabin Boy. Now, just going to continue on here. The instructions say here, I, have to, I can't speak too loud. My, my, uh, some friends of mine are sleeping, so I have to be very careful how I speak. You're now a cabin boy. Whoop de doo. Follow the orders of the fat pirate. He'll tell you to light the stove first. So walk all the way to the left of the le next screen and climb the ladder up. Alright, so step by step. Let's talk to him. As long as you make yourselves useful, we might not use you as an anchor just yet. Alright. So he asks us to, to walk all the way to the left of the next screen, climb the climb this climb um, the ladder up. Let's go now. So we have to go to the top to the stove. Okay, careful now. This door here. Save our progress, cabin boy. And what we have to do now: <clears throat> enter the main part of the ship to or the door to the left. Switch to the hand cursor. Click on the stove to have Gwydion light it. So I have to click on the stove. It's an old wood stove. So we have to click on it now. Turn the stove on, fire in it, light it up. Okay, save that part already. I'll just save this as, um, replace this as um, stove lit. Okay, now, now report back to the fat pirate by the bunks. Let's go talk to him. Talk to the fat pirate. Let's 
talk to him what he has to say here. The upper deck could do with a good scrubbing. Now get moving. All right. Now speak to him and receive your next uh, orders. If he tells you to scrub the, up, the upper deck, then climb up back to the upper level of the ship and return where the stove was. <clears throat> grab, grab uh, the broom waiting there. And walk back up the deck, out to the deck. Use the broom. Use the broom on the deck before reporting back to the fight pirate again. Okay. <clears throat> Go back upstairs. It's like a little piece of home. It's like... Okay, let's see if we can do some sweeping. <coughs> Grab... Uh, scrub the other deck. A little scrub. Walk around for a while. Okay, how about upstairs here? <coughs> so we have to basically scrap the upper deck then climb back up to the upper level of the ship and return where the stove was grab the broom waiting there and walk back up to the, out to the deck use the broom on the deck before reporting back to the fat pirate again Stairs. Get a little broom there. You can't use that item there. Okay. Let's go upstairs again. You should refrain from careless gallivanting. Okay, I'm just trying to get upstairs again. Okay. Let's put the broom back. <coughs> put the broom back where it was. You can't. You can't. Pulsates with renewing energy. Oh, wow, cool. I didn't see that before. Save that as orb. The orb pulsates with renewing energy. While you're positive the orb contains some sort of power, you can't find a way to activate it. Alright, so I can't do anything with it right now. The broom reminds you a lot of the kitchen work Mananan made you do. Yeah, fond memories, fond memories. Let's 
go back downstairs. <coughs> Report to the fat pirate. <coughs> what does he have to say? You took your merry time? Go over to the captain's cabin and dust the shelves! Alright, save our progress. As, uh, Dust the shelves. Captain's shelves. Alright, let's go. Go to the captain's. Captain's, uh. brig. Captain's office. The captain keeps a lamp by his bedside. The captain's cabin is clean and orderly. His bunk rests against one wall with a large chest at its foot. A chart is tacked to the wall behind his desk. Okay, let's see what inside does and dusting and brooming. You're not close enough. Stock them. Don't ruin this writer's work. Sweet. All right, where is the uh, duster? So use the broom on the deck. So we walk all the way to the left screen into the Blundet's office. Pick up the feather duster to use it. Where is the du feather duster? The chest near the captain's bunk is closed. The captain's the cap the captain's cabin is cl the captain the shelves contain the captain's mini journal. You wouldn't mind reading up on the pirates' past exploits. If you weren't one of them, better. You're, you're not. You have better. You would. Oh, there's a duster right there. Shelves. Now, what do we do now? <clears throat> Pick up the feather duster. Done. Now report back to the fat pirate. Or rather, go back to the bunks where Gritty, Gritty, and will automatically land out for a nap. All right. So <clears throat> let's go back out. Back to the uh, to the fat pirate. Seems not, he doesn't seem to be there right now. So let's go have a nap. Meanwhile. Uh oh. What happened here? It's King Graham. There you are. I have been looking all over the castle. Where else would I be? Where else could I be? Wow. Looks like hell. What are you doing? Only what I can. Nothing. Save watch my land fall into ruin while that winged abomination continues its reign of terror. It serves not to dwell on matters beyond your... My wife, do you not feel my anguish? Our own daughter has been taken. And I... allowed it. You had no choice. There is always a choice. True. You might have chosen Daventry's destruction. Years ago, you defied the dragon. Even now, the flames still lick at our crops. Imagine the suffering had you resisted further. As for your anguish, every day I weep for Rosella and her son, Alex. No, I cannot bear to hear his name. Not now. As you wish, but you must not let this destroy you. 
Devantry cannot afford to be without its king, nor I without the man I wed. Wow. Were it only that he were here, I would do anything to heal my beloved realm, to make everything right. Wow. Oh, there's a dragon. What is Captain? We're heading for Usparia. Time to put all that booty to good use. I... um... What is it? Uh, that course will take us close to Daventry, won't it? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I must be confessing something to you, Captain. I'd be getting a tad nervous sailing this close to Daventry. What with that dragon I hear out telling those parts? Ah, you lily-livered codfish! That beast sits over yon mountains, never comes near the shore from what I hear. Hope you're right, Captain. Of course I'm right, you jelly-legged squid! That reminds me, when we reach Usperia, we'll see if we can't sell our new youngin' in the market. Should fetch a pretty price. <laughs> oh, and make sure there's someone guarding the hatch. We don't want him trying to make a break for Daventry Shore as we sail by. Aye, Captain. As the pirates spot land nearby, you are unceremoniously dumped in the cargo hold again to keep you from escaping. Oh, brother. He's been safely locked away in the hold, Captain. Say, have you seen this stuff we took off him? That kid carried some strange things. Where do you think he got them? How should I know? I've heard tell a wizard lives in Ludor. The kid seemed eager to leave. He probably stole those things. Stole. There's something else, too. Seems like a map. Another treasure map? Another. Don't think so. Uh, seems like a map of Ludor to me. Look, this here's the town where we made port. Whoa! Whoa! Got teleported. Where'd he go? Um, better get myself a chest with a lock on it when we reach you, Sparia. We're back at the uh, at the cargo hold now. Gwydion will automatically lie down. Watch the next scene, the cinema scenes to help it. Climb the ladder once and enter the captain's room. Captain's room. Place and go upstairs. and enter the captain's room. Walk to the treasure chest and open it for your stolen items. The chest near the captain's bunk is closed. Open it. You retrieve your stolen items. Yes, I got them. All the items that I've obtained before. You tore this empty page from the journal and used it to make a list of any spell ingredients you'll need. Yes. Good. Save our progress game. There's room. And we'll just save this game as Alex's items. Retrieved. Okay. Next step. Walk 
walk over to the treasure chest, open it for your stolen items. Well, what's left of them? I'm sure you won't need that magic map anyways. Quickly go back down into the hold. Save the game. You're not cl Your hands are grub. Why shimmy the Back down the ladder. Okay. Save the game now. Uh, walk all the way to the right scheme. Bottom of ship. To the right side. here to look at looking warily around the dank cargo hold you see nothing but wooden crates piled about okay cargo hold place that <clears throat> what's next Out to the hold, save the game. Now walk all the way to the right screen, take out the sleeping powder and use it on the middle of the screen to put the entire ship to sleep. Alright, get the sleeping powder. Where's the sleeping powder? The dirty brown storm brew sloshes around in the half-filled glass jar. We need the, st we need the, st the uh, sleeping powder. The leather pouch is securely tied and filled with the coarse brown sleep powder you so proudly manufactured. All right, excellent. Let's use that. As your sleep spell takes effect, a silence descends over the ship. All right. Place does a sleeping powder. Sleeping powder. And we will look at the final instructions. Use it on the middle of the screen and put the entire ship to sleep. You'll know that it worked correctly when you see the mice sleeping. Go back to the left part of the ship and climb back to the upper deck. Aha! Everyone's sleeping. The captain is snoring peacefully in his bunk. Right. Sleeping power, you'll know that you work really... Okay. Now go back to the left part of the ship and climb back to the upper deck. falling asleep. The pirate has found a more comfortable place to sleep than his bunk. Knocked out. Now, I'm 
to the upper deck. Now use the eagle feather on the essence of rose petal to fly to the shores of Devontree. Where's the eagle feather? The eagle's tail feather makes you wonder what it would be like to soar among the clouds. And where's the uh, rose petal? The little vial of magic essence has a delicate, sweet aroma. Okay, let's take that, that feather to the rose petal essence. Here we go, flying off. And we're back home to Daventry. You've managed to make it to the shore of Daventry, but your magic essence is all gone now. Oh well. At least all my other items are safe. Now we'll just save our game. We'll save it as... Replace that as... Back in Daventry. And we'll call that an evening. We've made it back to the game, back to the Daventry. So we'll save our game and it'll take a break. Gamers, like, thank you for, for watching me play King's Quest 3 to Harris Human Walkthrough. We've just escaped the pirate ship and we're back in Daventry. So the adventure will continue in the next video. We're nearing the end of our adventure. Soon this game will be over. Thank you.